Well, um, to the full Monty. Yeah, I thought it was about time the old uh, Trinitron uh, got some attention. Oh, bloody hell, you're not even going to see it. For fuck's sake. Mind you, most games have got a shitty background anyway. Yeah. Maybe uh, loading the SD to IEC uh, Ding Dong will uh, help the situation. Who knows, mate? Does somewhat. Uh, if we have more light on the situation, how's that doing, mate? Well, we're not getting the uh, light from the window reflected in there. Perhaps we shouldn't do low light settings. Uh, anyway. And what game should we uh, honour in this uh, terrible video quality? This is probably 360p of the 480p that the camera is recording at, at the wrong frame rate that's being used. This is a terrible idea. Hmm. Scrolling platformers. And of course, this has got the uh, version of Flimbo's Quest that doesn't work in here. Uh, it's on two discs anyway, so that's never going to work. Yeah, I've done all of these. Toki will never work on the uh, SD to IEC. And I think, to be honest, you should really try and get it on cartridge. I've never actually searched for that on cartridge on uh, eBay. Never ever. Yeah, so there's nothing actually here. So, uh... Maybe we're going the old uh, AB stuff. Repeat AB. Yeah, that was a thing on those, uh, you know, those old CD players. Okay. So every time I create a new directory on this thing, all the other directories change position. That's what kind of gets me. Yeah, could play a bit more uh, of that. What is this? What happened to the A to Z stuff then? It must be an A. They are actually, so what's in ZZZ? Z, Z? There's a lot of Zs. You'd think I'd like that KZZKJ, but uh, I don't think he's a very good programmer. I mean, he does the bare minimum to like, you know. <sighs> Get paid, in case you're wondering what I was thinking. Yeah, power play hockey will never work. Oh, at least my actual program. Ah, no, those are the rubbish, rubbish programs, not just the rubbish program. I think I've done Catechist. Have I done Karate Champ? I think it didn't work. Yeah, Footy Games is a directory. I don't think I found a version of Fight Night that works properly, if at all, actually. Yeah, Milk Race is a Mastertronic racing game, so, um, yeah, we must be in alphabetical order, sort. I hope it's coming out nice on the camera. You don't need to see what colour uh, massive mugs I use. I mean, I've got jeans on. And the t-shirt I've got is, is not the thinnest one in the world. 
Well, they're not particularly uh, 70 style thick with collars or anything. I don't like t-shirts with collars. And a pocket for your fag packets. Don't like that. Now, I know what I'm going to think of this game. Uh, I'd rather be playing summer games too, so... Save up the money you're going to waste on uh, probably three or four out of the other, you know, the other Mastertronic games. Five of which in total would cost the same as Summer Games 2. You yeah, don't need ominous music while I'm saying that. Mm, yeah, we've been playing micro deal games, so. Uh, would I redefine the keys? No, because. Uh, Actually, I wonder how much it would cost to buy a knackered uh, C64, you know, one that doesn't power on. Quite difficult, because most sellers say, oh, I couldn't tune it into my uh, LCD tuner. Yeah, mate, that don't mean nothing, unless you say to me, either, uh, oh, my uh, VCS works on it, my PC engine works on it. Or I've never been able to tune in anything like a VCS or C64 or whatever. Anyway. They're so expensive. You would spend like 10 quid buying a SCART cable. For something like uh, a particularly hard to find console. Which uh, Zypho would like. Fuck. You know, that's like the smallest font ever. I'm going to need my actual reading glasses. You know what? I can't fucking read that. I don't know what the controls are. Alright, so you just... Uh, Alright, so it's not like a summer games to cycling event. So it's literally milk race, as in you race into the milk bottles. Do I need to get them milk bottles? Yeah, energy. Alright, so if you touch the grass, you've got such a, a crap bicycle that you fall over. I don't really see what that's got to do with anything. How am I supposed to stop them hitting me? Oh, hang on, maybe I've got to change gears because it says gear. Get up then, you little dick. How do I change gear? No, I'm just trying to change gear, mate. That's a bit weird. To change gear, you've got to hold fire. And, uh... What happened now? For fuck's sake. I didn't run out of energy. No way to... Fucking it, six gears. Who has... Ah, oh, come on. Three gears would have been enough. Not like uh, Pit Stop 2 has, like... You know, five gears to change through. Why is game over? I don't get why game is over. I'm going faster than some people there. And I'm not running out of energy. Listen, you're not worthy of the Trinitron uh, life left in it. I've got a better idea what to play. Found uh, four C64 cartridges somewhere else not in this room. And uh, two of them are international soccer. One of them is Star Ranger. And the other two are Simon's Basic. So, it seems like quite a popular uh, thing, that Simon's Basic. Seems to turn up with loads of bundles. I, I never would have bought Simon's Basic. It's like, can you write games with it? No. Yeah. See you later, mate. That's my attitude. So, it's come to this. 9 minutes 41 seconds now. And we're going to be playing. Well, if I can find a bloody thing. Fuck's that S. Right, first. 
Let's hope he's not lost outright. Remember, at least they know what they're doing. I don't know what that means. What's the Z business? No, which one uh, is the one I'm supposed to? Uh, you know what? It's a bit of a nightmare now. I don't know if I was in that. I was in alphabetical sort, wasn't I? Yeah, here we go. So uh, we have to find uh, G and G. Why am I not seeing G and G? Oh, here they are. Right, okay, so they're in the wrong order. That's why I copied them. Upside down, in it. Felix, what's Felix doing in here? Right, okay, let's try that again. Yeah, I was right. See, if you can't see the uh, sizes of the uh, files on the uh, disk image, it's very difficult to tell which one you click on. In this case. Right, Ghost and Goblin is quite a large game. Yes, I have played it. Uh, it was during a thunderstorm in Warfield. Or a hailstorm. And seeing as it's uh, Cyprus weather, we're going to be playing that and uh, the other game I was playing in the uh, Andor Thunderstorm uh, Hailstorm business. Uh, no, I only got one filter left. Actually, I've got to be careful with the tobacco. I'm sure you've all stopped the uh, fast forwarding now. But you missed a very interesting conversation. Oh well. Now actually, it's quite bright on the screen, so you can't actually tell, you know, what the uh, Sony looks like there. I actually mustn't forget uh, there's a Rubik snake on uh, on eBay I wanted to buy. It's the same colour as the one I had. 
and then I swapped it for this uh, electronic game which had like a, a breakout thing and uh, Space Invaders built into it. Not really the same without the flashing lines. Someone should write a program, right? You get, um, you load in a, I don't know, say a koala pad thingy or whatever, art studio, uh, you know, picture, and uh, you select what kind of border rasters you want to do. So a multicolor, a couple of colors, and then which two colors you want, uh, or the, uh, you know, the white stripes on the black background, stuff like that. And then it will just display it. Maybe it could even play the uh, sample sound of, uh, you know, someone pressing play on the cassette and then the uh, hum of the, uh, the data set as it's uh, playing a tape. You don't half chat a lot of bollocks, mad Commodore. Well, at least I don't talk like you, mate. Right, see, uh, really, we're going to have to have all trainers on. We don't know, actually, because I, I don't know if it's actually more difficult in the new one. choose Lance because that is the first one you get. Never lose the chosen one, definitely not. One to four. So it's only uh, four levels. Uh, we'll have yes for that. Me and my mate named after a computer in uh, some uh, Classic sci-fi show, and it's not how, because uh, that was not a show; that was a film. I'm indulging in the music. I actually like. Uh, this music, and the music in the game, and the high score music especially, I like that, even though it's kind of like a zombie film with like, you know, some uh, happy music as, uh, you know, the end of the battle's over and uh, all your friends are dead on the floor and you only survived because you uh, nicked a, you know, a full coat of armour from a museum with a big sword cutting through the old... Uh, yeah, let's see a zombie get me. However, this is millennial quality uh, uh, suit of armour because the zombies uh, get through it. However, it feels in The Walking Dead, of all the new characters, they really should have had that. So, you spend most of your time playing this game in your underpants video clip of uh, Make Love Not Warcraft from South Park oh, come on it's real real tough game super smooth though graphics are absolutely fine for the time they're brilliant for the time they're, they're even brilliant for the time of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts shit fest in fact, they're up to like, you know, just about every other version. Oh, bloody hell. There's nothing wrong with these graphics at all, as far as I can tell. So, it'd be interesting to see what I think of, uh, you know, uh, the graphics in the new version we're going to play after this. Oh, you didn't know that's what we're doing? Oh, well. Ah, oh, come on. Respawning bullshit. Just get on their side, didn't it? Real tough game. 
And you should never play this game with cheats, because you'd never be able to play it in the arcade with cheats, so you just have to accept. Oh man, I want to jump over that thing, because I don't want to pick it up. That was lucky! I don't know what them pots are though. Picking up. Oh, it's real tough actually. This game takes no prisoners at all. I'm not even joking them. Oh no! So that's where the uh, jump, uh, jumping back when you get hit by the enemy's bullshit comes from in Ninja Gaiden. They copied this game. Perhaps we could uh, get a clip from, uh, you know, The Walking Dead or something where they've had uh, the opposite of a victory either with another group and there's loads of their people dead or something. Maybe this is the one with the uh, skinwalkers. You know, the people who wore the uh, skins and the uh, heads, well, the head skin. I oh, don't fuck, that sounds rude. But this music's brilliant. So, you know, back then, I didn't think there was anything wrong with uh, Ghosts and Goblins. And if Nemesis was done to that standard, but you only had the first four levels or whatever, or any four levels I won't be fucking complaining I won't be saying oh I wish they put the extra levels in but it was rubbish so it could fit in your memory so there is that because it's not a multi-load game and a console quality game on the C64 has to fit in the memory Now, of course, by the time this loads, this directory, let alone the actual bloody thing. I won't mind watching some carry-on films, but the projector and the PC is going to heat up this room really a lot. And I know we've got a hot day tomorrow as well, so... You know. Now, one of these don't work. I can't remember which one doesn't work. One of them is uh, meant for the cartridge. I think one of them's an easy flash release. Right, IFL's not going to work, so we have to try the other one. So, because it's nostalgia, it's really, you know, there is going to be problems with the SD to IC. You're going to have to specifically go and find a version that another group has either sorted out or they've come to their senses and fixed it. So, we're off to a bad stop. We're stuffed. Oh, right, because it's uh, the later years, maybe it's actually detecting the uh, SD to AC and turning off the fast loader. They don't always do it. Sometimes it says uh, SD to AC found and then it don't work. So, although the image is improved, uh, the original image, there wasn't that much wrong with it, but it is an improvement. So, the thing that stands out most is lack of turquoise on the uh, geezer there. Now, there are differences in every square, I can imagine that. Even, he's even uh, anti alazed around the moon at the top, so you've got different colours around the edge there. So, uh, you know, he's an improvement. I don't 
don't know if there's any trainer options on it. That's another reason why I didn't play the other one with trainer options. My cat's just heard the web box packing. Come out, buddy. This is a web box, this is telephone. Wow, he was fast asleep and uh, his brain is tuned to web box. You know what web box is? That's forgetting the fact that uh, what I'm going to say next is, is not a savoury thing. Ah, uh, web box is like a, a McFlurry for like a 10 year old or an 8 year old. It's not necessarily a bug. Every kid likes McFlurry. Who, what kid doesn't like ice cream? Uh, it looks like everything is on there and uh, there's nothing about fast loader so um, when I was playing this uh, later on much later on like uh, a week later uh, it turned out the uh, keyboard I was using uh, had a slight issue which was making the game more difficult to play mostly uh, the jumps so I didn't notice if I could select the original uh, Chris Butler music all the way through the game see they don't mention Mark Cooks here at all they mention Chris Butler for the coding though because this is a Mark Cooksey tune. It's a classic Mark Cooksey tune. All right, so it's specifically the, their program. Right, okay, I understand. Can you have SFX and the music? Our original Chris Butler and Mark Cooksey, there we go. How do I change that? Is that space? All right, there we go, good, good. Nice and intuitive. So if I have SFX on, I want music on. So we'll have SFX off. Right, so straight away, this is a multi-load. So you're losing something because it is a multi-load. That is a design decision. So what you've got is an analog synthesizer uh, trying to imitate a completely different type of uh, sound generation device that only has square waves. But uh, these chips have uh, they have white noise, uh, not pink noise, as the uh, noise thing. Let me concentrate a second. I have to go back to the video and compare the actual video. Actually. Right, okay. We've got our mojo one for that. Have to get up there now. Ah, god damn it. See, I, I don't get enough time going up and down the ladders to see if that's more finicky. Maybe there's a bit more of a delay before the zombies come up. Oh, yes, I don't know. So there are differences, like the skeleton is not like um, a single colour, you know, bitmap resolution, uh, fat pixel resolution sprite, which is what Bruce Lee does. Yeah, so he, he couldn't be bothered to like change, I'm talking Chris Butler here, change it to a high res, a high res sprite. Anyway. Right, fire off your ding dong. See, I'm losing time there, that's a problem. A shield won't get me a coat of armor. Now, if you want to fix the gameplay on this game for a home user, 
and not arcade difficulty. And arcade games are always too difficult. Well, the thing that the uh, demon fires and the actual demon itself here it looks better. I don't know if that's too high res sprite overlays. Something like that. And the, uh, the red crows look a bit less pixelated. So you can definitely see uh, enhancements. Uh, the, the background looks kind of the same. Ah, no! So it's different. I, I consider this a different game. It's different in so many ways. The musical experience is completely different. Uh, and because I had this game back then, I'll always be biased as far as music goes. There's, there's no technical compare this with that. I don't think it sounds exactly like the arcade, so that would be one reason to do it. It's a bit like a Roland Pro Mars, it's slightly uh, broken. Uh, trying to do the uh, Ghosts and Goblins uh, FM based uh, sound chip style sounds. That's a matter of opinion. I don't personally like it, however, it is a difference. So that's difference number one. The game is multi load. So, you know, that could, it's a complete game changer. So at least it comes straight back to this. Let's have it with SFX on. So I, sh I can't be bothered to time it in seconds, that's being a bit, you know, a bit over the top. So considering the fast loader is turned off, that's not too bad actually. So I can see slight differences in the background graphics too. And the sprites too. I couldn't tell you exactly what it is but it do seem less blocky the way they've been designed. So it's quite interesting actually. Ah, uh, I didn't select an option for... Um, so I might come back to this one day and compare like how different levels play with trainer options on. Uh, just to test it out. But I'm going to be playing a bit of uh, Pitfall 2 now. Not Pitfall 2, Pit Stop. I probably said Pitfall 2 before. Right. So. It's kind of annoying. The condition of this TV. That was damaged uh, in post. To me. And the fact that it's not the correct colour combination. This is sort of like beige and white, although it's kind of yellowed a bit. Whereas the one I had was, uh, you know, dark grey around the bezel and sort of like a gunmetal grey, like, uh, you know, the Goldfinger Bond Aston Martin DB5 sort of colour around the rest of it. And black on the uh, very bottom level where all the switches are. Yeah, I would really like one of those coloured versions of this TV again, I have to say. So, now I'm hoping that, uh, actually, no, 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 it's in the B directory, isn't it, where we had the uh, racing games? Yeah, they definitely be in there. all the noise going on out there. 
you know your house has gone down in value when there's a cunt bouncing a football near your uh, waterball range I suppose we go there now where are we as in the ZZZ Z, Z bullshit I think No. Where's that directory gone then? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I'm sure it was in here. Have to do alphabetical sort. Yeah, there it is. I think the racing games were in there. B! Somewhere. But then Z, Z, Z. I remember seeing that directory. There we go, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Great. It's not in there. It's definitely a Formula One game. Yeah. See, the problem is, I've copied like loads of like games, and then not put them in the directories because I've already got them. I know because I've already done a review on certain games when I'm going through game base. So, uh, unless it's in like an easy to see sort of like. Yeah, you know, second level directory. I'm not going lower than that. It's a huge directory. And some games I doubled up on a disc because I couldn't be bothered to mess about with Disc Master. Now. Let's just uh, try it in the US Gold directory. The US Gold Directory, for someone who grew up in the UK, is a very difficult one to do. It includes all sorts of different publishers. You know. Mm. Yeah, just checking there's no racing directory or anything weird in here. Bollocks. Where's bloody pit stop to? Ah, uh, you git. See, it's not in this directory. So unless we've got an EPYX directory, I'm not pronouncing it anymore. You just get upset at the way I pronounce it. I have to do an alphabetical sort to be sure. No. So that's a problem. Not only have I not put it in the US Gold directory, I can't bloody find where I've put it in the actual uh, thing. So I've done alphabetical sort, and then uh, after Zeppelin, we've got high tech and you roll. Alright, let's uh, make sure there isn't a US Gold uh, D81 or something. really need to clean up this directory yeah that's not good is it what's that one with the US gold tapes yeah you idiot putting them in capital letters well, I could play Lord of the West but that's for me here we go here they are here we go just looking at the other stuff on there Supposed to be in alphabetical sort mode. So yes, pit stop two. Many an hour that I've forgotten. In fact, every single one of them. I have the vaguest, vaguest memory 
of looking at this on the screen like really close and it would have been my old Triumph TV which has a screen as shit as the one on the uh, 1701 and 1702 monitors on the Commodore monitors very similar except I got a better uh, picture out of the try anyway there was no banding on the colours or anything weird like that and I was like looking at it and thinking oh yeah you have to sit really close to get the full effect because the screen's not full screen it's kind of about it but I did play this game a lot I know I did because I honed my handling skills there is a, a real trick to actually how you play this game as far as cornering goes and it's a trick that holds true right up to Lotus 3 on the Amiga that's really where I lost interest after that in uh, Amiga racing games uh, I'm fine with that Sure, I work out the keys. I think it actually tells you them. Yeah, see, I don't think I was playing Pit Stop Two hardly ever. Probably in the uh, you know the summer of '85, between '85 and '86, that 12-month period when I got my Sony Trinitron. Cause I can't remember if I had that before I got an ST. Well, I got them both at the same time, but I think I had the Sony already, but not for very long. That may have been a birthday present. Actually, you have to consider that. I asked my dad. I think he remembers buying that TV because it was quite expensive. It was two hundred pounds, which is the same price as the Commodore seventy no one monitor. So therefore, it's not expensive at all. And I paid the extra 20 quid to have Teletext on there because Teletext was really useful. And don't let anyone tell you any different. It means they don't know what they're talking about. Let's have a normal game because last time I had trainer options on. I don't think you can uh, you can change the track. But uh, I don't think you can make the other things any easier. See. Might one day do a ground circuit, but we haven't got the battery life for that. I'm going to try Watkins Glen, let's see what the old uh, backgrounds look like. Ah, the classic, classic graphics right there. I'm going to sit closer. All right. I hope these uh, CRT glasses can handle the truth. I really hope this is no, this ain't coming out good at all. It's going to get even worse now. I oh, know, and the battery warning's just started. Ah, the summer holidays feeling of uh, carefree as Iris. It's quite a way ahead. So, all the ingredients are there with this game. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be showing you how to do the cornery. For some reason, I thought there was low and high gears on this, like pole position, but there isn't. So that's one thing uh, they, uh, you know, they save you the hassle of dealing with. I'm sure they would have put it in. See, I'm not even close to where he is. I'm, I'm actually doing really bad at this game. So the trick is to uh, look ahead and uh, turn in before. Oh, hang on, yeah. Because the earlier you turn in, the less it flings you out to the opposite side. Centripetal force. You can go and look that up on Wiki uh, Wallification, whatever that website is called. This is really a two-player game, but you'd still play it as a one-player game because 
It's not like when the computer wins, you don't get to play the rest of the game. And there are other cars on the track, that's the thing. So it's not just a racing game where two players have to beat each other. Uh, there are other cars on there as well. See, if you try to change lanes, and you push back to brake, there's no auto braking. There's no retardation or engine braking or anything like that. There's no walk through, play through or anything like that. Just me being grateful that I actually have this great CRT TV. It's brilliant. Although I won't play it with these uh, particular settings. This is for your benefit. So I suppose we're going to call this episode uh, in honour of the mighty Sony Trinitron KV14 with Teletext and Scar RGB that cost the same price as a... Uh, I don't think we can uh, get all that in the title. Maybe we do the dot dot business and have it in the description, who knows. Camera, camera warning is going. So I'm on lap two and I've got quite a bit of fuel, but I think we've only done uh, less than one and a half laps. However, I've got two thirds fuel, so it should be okay. So on rookie is really about managing the tires. Now, if you're having a two-player game, you should put it on pro. Because then it'd just be so much fun. I wish I could remember actually playing these two players with a specific friend. Any specific details, like I can't. But then he's a he's a healthier bastard than me, and he can't remember him either. In fact, I remember more than he does and I'm worried about how much I've forgotten so I have to go on this side getting glare on the old glass of Runeos. yeah it's really important to see the image like quite close on uh, you know if you get a 14 inch portable just to get the effect I'm almost within reading glasses range not CRT glasses I think my eyeballs are about two I'd have to play this on the 1702 actually I might do that a bit later off camera no actually that would have to be on camera battery takes over two hours to charge and you get about one and a half hours if you're lucky if the battery's cold when you use it you get a little bit more but it's a hot battery situation as Martin Brundle never said during a Formula 1 commentary but I may have said it at other time off camera off microphone so Although I'm not losing any in any way, I'm not really gaining on him because, uh, hang on, I think if you press fire you go like turbo speed, that oh, bollocks, I just remembered that, that yeah, fuck. I can't even remember how to play the game. Yeah, that's it. Your maximum speed, should you choose to accept it, is higher than the speed he goes. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a wasted video. I'll play it later and enjoy it more in it. It's a brilliant game. You just have to play it on easy. So, same as international soccer. Got nine levels, keep it to one, two or three. And with this game, you keep it to the first out of the three difficulty levels. And try not to blow up your tyres in it, which is always good. Yeah, I think one day I'm, I'm going to do the uh, 1702 and the full Grand Prix. Yeah, we do that. It's going to be really boring for you lot though. Ah, well. So he hasn't stopped for fuel, he's actually won. And you can tell that because his time's no longer ticking up. Time is relative now for each of us. Einstein was correct. 
about that. Not the space-time bullshit. That's, that's wrong. I can't be bothered to explain it to these. Uh, why should these people benefit from me working that out? Where Einstein went wrong? I beat everyone else. That's bloody amazing under millennial everyone gets a prize bullshit.